My friend, let me share with you the secret to building wealth. The kind that transcends mere numbers and investments. Building wealth isn't just about accumulating money. It's about cultivating a mindset, a discipline, and a vision for your future. I'm not afraid. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy. Happy Monday, you suckers. Happy Motivation Monday. So as the gentleman before said, in this episode is going to be mainly AI because I'm teaching a lesson here. And I'm going to get back to those two. So for those of you who are not adept inept, whatever, to what it is I'm doing. My show is this year concentrating on the fact that I have six goals. Healthy, wealthy, wise, time, location, uh, financial freedom, time freedom, financial freedom, location freedom. I'm working on those. But the first three, healthy, wealthy, wise, is what's going to help me with the other three. Right. So today I'm covering the wealthy part. How will I get wealthy? What is my plan to get wealthy? The Rockefeller waterfall method. So what I'm going to do, I've brought this up before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a little bit about how it is in hopes that it creates a dialogue, in hopes that someone might say, no, you know what, you're wrong. Or someone will say, well, can you explain a little bit deeper? So what I did is I went to chat GPT. Now I've been reading books on the Rockefeller method for a good little bit. And I went to chat GPT and put in some information so it can spit out how the Rockefeller method works. I kind of know how it works, but I wanted to kind of simplify it. And it gave me six steps. Establish a family trust. Purchase tax exempt life insurance policies. Premium payments in cash value accumulation. Tax free death benefit inheritance of policy and cash value and tax advantage wealth transfer so what i'm going to do is let ai take it away as we get into motivation monday 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 the first step is to establish a family trust which will serve as the owner of the life insurance policies the trust is typically set up by the parent or grandparent who acts as the grantor or settler. Step two, the family trust purchases large permanent life insurance policies for each family member, for example, parent, grandparent, child, grandchild. These policies are often whole life or universal life insurance policies that have cash value accumulation features. Step three, the premiums for these life insurance policies are paid by the family trust. As the premiums are paid, the policies accumulate cash value over time. The cash value grows tax deferred, meaning it's not subject to income tax as long as it remains within the policy. Welcome to the Inky Man podcast, a place where inspiration meets the seductive worlds of gastronomic exploration and flashing Las Vegas lights. Your host, Inky Man, will take you on a tour around the vibrant streets of Vegas while providing you with a delightful fusion of culinary delights, motivation, and insight. Whether you're craving insider information on the greatest eateries in the area or you're searching for inspiration to help you reach your goals, the Inky Man podcast is your go-to source for everything positive, Las Vegas approved, and foodie approved. So grab a seat, hit play, and let's explore Inky Man's dynamic fusion of culinary adventures and inspiration. Step four, when the policyholder, for example, parent or grandparent passes away, the death benefit of the life insurance policy is paid out to the beneficiaries, for example, children or grandchildren named in the policy. The death benefit is typically received income tax free under current tax laws. Step five, upon the death of the policyholder, the beneficiaries inherit the life insurance policy. They can access the accumulated cash value within the policy tax deferred over time. This cash value can be accessed through policy loans or withdrawals, which are typically income tax free up to the amount of premiums paid. Step six, by utilizing this strategy, the parent or grandparent effectively transfers wealth to their children or grandchildren in a tax-efficient manner. 
The death benefit from the life insurance policy provides a tax-free infusion of funds to the beneficiaries, and the accumulated cash value within the policy can be accessed without triggering immediate income tax liabilities. Think of your riches as a well-built home. Each brick stands for a wise financial choice, each beam for a carefully considered investment, and each window for an unobstructed perspective of your objectives. But keep in mind that money created on faulty foundations will also disintegrate, just as a house built on unsteady ground will. So, basically in a nutshell, I'm going to try to break this down as possible as I can. Some elements are going to be missing because things like what kind of trust should you have and things like that are in the mix. Now, also understand I'm not an attorney or anyone that's representing anything legal. You might want to consult with an attorney if you're looking to do any of these things or if nothing else researching them and applying them. So in a nutshell, you have a trust. The trust holds on to the bulk of your money, right? To protect you. The trust, the point of a trust is to protect your money, among other things. So the trust buys life insurance for members of the family, right? In that life insurance, you, if you get the right one, because there's a lot of different term, uh, ones, whole life insurance, permanent life insurance, and other terms. Um, but you want the type of life insurance that you could put money in it, and it gains a cash value, and then you're able to borrow against it. As you're borrowing against it, so say, for example, you have $1,000 and you borrow 500 When you borrow the 500 you're borrowing it from the insurance company and not your policy. So that $1,000 is still there. All right? Then what you want to do is you want to pay your premiums on the insurance policy like you should be if you started the policy. You want to pay the premiums on the uh, insurance policy, but as you're paying it back, it's gaining interest on your payments, but the money's going back to you. See what I'm saying? If you don't, I'm trying my best, okay? So the insurance, the trust has these insurance on the different people. The different people are able to use the life insurance now borrow against it start a business the wise thing would be to use the money that's going to go somewhere that's going to make you more money not buying dumb stuff like clothes and sneakers and things like that um so when that person these people each individual person passes the money goes to the trust the trust is set up so it's buying more life insurance now that's it in a nutshell there's more to it but the point being, this is how generational wealth is built. Now, if I didn't explain it the way that you want it to be explained, then, hey, that's the point. Let's talk about it. But this is something that I've been looking at as far as how to be able to pass something on to my family, members of my family, grandkids, children, so on and so forth, so that there's money that's constantly going. The way to generational wealth is for there to be money somewhere that's able to pay your bills so that you can live the life that you want to live. Again, in a nutshell, there's, it's a lot deeper than that I'm seeing. So I wanted to introduce that, that to you so we can get a dialogue going, maybe start a group. There's a lot of things that can come from this. But that's one way to be wealthy. Questions? Hit me below. Other than that, happy Monday, you suckers. Motivation Monday, you suckers. Monday, 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 Monday. I'm out, yo. I'm out, yo. Joe.